up and downsides to LEDs? Yeah. Well, can all LED manufacturers please leave the room for a moment? Yeah. <laughs> Thing is that. You know, sometimes a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Uh -huh. So, if you notice, most of the books on uh, growing plants, I don't care whether it's marijuana or whatever, have show these different, the different, different spectrums of light that are used by chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. And, you know, they have a little, they have some peaks in the red and some peaks in the blue. and you know, then there's this big area of nothing. And, but that's not exactly the, just the way plants work. They're a little bit more complex than that. And just think of this, plants have three times as many genes as we do in general. I mean, and think of all the different things that plants, I mean, when you think of a plant, think of what it's doing. First of all, it, it has this photosynthesis stuff which is basically that it captured cyanobacteria and put, captured them, put them into its cells and then started doing the photosynthesis thing. So then it has this different system. It has this root system that's doing the same thing that the leaves are doing, but it's gather, gathering the energy from the soil. That is the nutrients or, or whatever. And so it has all these different processes. So, so then we, what, so into that complexity, then we say, okay, we simplify it and say, well, they're really sensitive to red and blue. And, you know, and you can grow plants using the red and blue lights, and you can grow them to flowering. But in order for them, for the plants to function truly efficiently, they need a series of other colors. And the other colors that they needed are only now being delineated because it was very difficult to find it before because before before there were uh, LED lights it was difficult to get pure light spectrums in other words you'd have to put filters on and then even out the amount of light and so on so it was very difficult to, to do it so these experiments are only happening now and actually but about this time last year, I, yeah, about this time last year, I was at the University of Maryland, and I was working with a couple of uh, professors emeritus there on, on this very question. And we had the question of, of these different pigments that, uh, that also accept, uh, absorb light from different colors and some of these pigments and uh, trans some of the once they gather this light, they transfer the the uh, electrical charge that they got from the light back to chlorophyll A. So then you say, well, is this needed or is this just auxiliary? And but let let me put it this way. 20 years, 25 years ago, and 20 years ago, NASA did a group of experiments with LED lights, and they found that when they put a green LED, green LED in the middle with the reds and the blues, that, that the amount of uh, growth went up significantly, which indicated that the plants were using some other spectrums of light, and the, and the green LED is, uh, that the, the uh, green LED actually um, uh, may represent a group of other colors also. So my theory on it is that plants will do better if they get a certain amount of a certain spectrums of, of amber, amber and green light that are supplied by no LED companies right now. And um, therefore, I'm trying to keep this short. Yeah. So therefore, uh, the way that I would use LEDs at, is as supplement to a high-pressure sodium or metal halide lamp. So instead of using a thousand watts 
of high pressure sodium, perhaps you'd use 400 watts of high pressure sodium and 300 watts of uh, LEDs. And those LEDs would substitute for, for, uh, uh, for 700 watts of, uh, 600 watts of uh, HPS that you're not using. And the reason for that is the plants would be getting a certain amount of those other spectrums that they need, and they still, but the red and blue, which is very useful for photosynthesis, would be charged up. So, so what's a pl how's a plant going to be different if it's grown under LEDs than HPS? Well, in, under certain circumstances, it's not going to have as much weight, and it's going to, the, the bud is going to be fluffier, which is, I mean, fluff is good for pillows.